Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, home of the Bit Squad, the largest and greatest crypto community in all the interwebs. My name is Ben. Every day on this channel, I show you how to make money in crypto. If you like money and crypto, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, guys, unfortunately, not doing a live stream today. I've got uh, uh, another event that I'm attending here in the local area. So I've got to go to this and, you know, it's just such bad timing. You know, isn't it always bad timing when you have to go do something, something that's a good thing to do, but it takes away from the thing you do every day, which is coming on here and talking to you guys about crypto. Obviously such bad timing because the market is crashing today. Wow, look like that 32 was gonna hold for uh, about a week there. And now we are below $30,000 at the time of this recording. Uh, but, you know, what is happening? Well, whales are accumulating. We've been telling you that all week. Uh, also guys, before we really get into the video, I do wanna make a special announcement and we will have the link down below in the video description. Uh, our Cardano staking pool, the bit pool, and it's a little dark today, sorry guys. But uh, the, the bit pool, ADA staking pool is now launched ready to run uh, I'm gonna put the links to the pool down below in the video description so if you have Cardano and you would like to earn returns on that to stake ADA which by the way the number one stake coin in all of crypto 70 almost 71% of the supply is locked up this means there's a much smaller circulating supply that's why when Cardano starts to run, it really, really, really runs. Uh, so if you want to join the staking revolution, come join the BitPool. You can do that by visiting the link down below in the description. Uh, a special note is that you cannot send Cardano into the staking address. Somebody actually looked it up yesterday, found the staking contract address, and sent, it, sent some of their Cardano direct Unfortunately, I, we're trying to get it back to the person, uh, but unfortunately, if you do that, it could be lost. So don't do that. You want to do the staking through the Daedalus Cardano wallet or the Euroi wallet, Y-O-R-O-I. I believe that's how you spell it. So you got to do it through one of those two wallets to come join our staking pool. We're going to be launching a lot of staking pools coming up in the future. We're, we're tired of just having crypto sitting around doing nothing for us. We're ready to make it start working for us, and you should too. So don't forget to visit that link down in the description if you are in the Cardano community. But let, let's get back to the topic at hand, which is Bitcoin crashing below $30,000. No, number one, this is the third time we've seen Bitcoin go below $30,000, and it snapped right back up every time. Number two, I've been telling you that the goal has always been $28,000, and they have yet to get it to $28,000. It hit twenty-eight five, dollars I believe, uh, a few weeks ago. This was the second push down. And you, you hear a lot of people calling for $24,000. Some people calling for $22,000 or $20,000. Here is why I do not believe that that is happening. Number one, I've been hearing, uh, what a numbered list today. I've been hearing this $28,000 number for a while. You guys know we talked about $32,000 for a couple of weeks. It was holding, but eventually the push down gets more than uh, you know the ability for people to hold. And that's why we went down below that number. That's why we're in a little bit of a tricky spot here. We are in a very interesting place in the crypto market because while the goal is 28,000, once it goes below 28, it starts hitting those lower price points, 24,000, 25,000, 21,000, 20,000, $2, who knows where it may end up. Once, it's, once it starts triggering those lower orders, now you're, you're having to fight against people that make quick profits. So if you buy back in around 24,000 and it goes back up to 38,000, wow, that's that's a big, that's like a 30 or 40% uh, gain right there, somewhere around there. Moon math, am I right? Uh, so you're, you're dealing with a lot of people selling off at earlier price points. It's gonna prevent us from being able to make massive runs up back above 40K. Also, guys, these are, this move last night, you can tell by the time that it happened these are international overseas players. You, you, you can figure out the country that's doing this. This was also an international attack across the board on our whole markets yesterday. Yesterday, the Dow, record losses, 
also pointing back to a lot of these international players. So, so uh, they've got a lot of momentum. They've got a lot of money to, to move the prices down, okay? But what happens is when they trigger it too low, now their game is done because the game is to push it down for this one last push up at the end of this year or, or you know, starting here in the next couple of weeks, going through the fall or the, you know, early winter, uh, most likely all the way through the fall and then that'll be that. But if the confidence of the retail investor gets shaken, then there's nobody to push the price up. And you say, yes, well, the institutional money is what really pushed the price up. Yes, but who do you think all the institutions are selling to at the top? They have to have retail sentiment high in order to sell back to those people at the top. And if Bitcoin continues to go down, especially if we go below 20K, that retail confidence is gone, okay? It takes retail investors a couple of years to recover during a bear market. That's kind of what plays in to the cycles. People come in, they buy at the top, they get wrecked, wrecked, wrecked. They don't want to hear Bitcoin. They don't want to see Bitcoin. They don't want to think about crypto. They don't want to watch a video until all of a sudden it comes back. They forget about the pain. They've recovered their losses and now they're ready to do the whole process again. That's why those who make the money in crypto are those who stay in the long term because you make it all the way through those cycles and you understand you know, the ins and outs uh, uh, of how it all works. So right now we saw a push down attempting to get people to sell. There was an article out this morning, as soon as Bitcoin hit 30,000 and went below, as soon as that happened, the whales were buying more. The whales were accumulating. And, and I, gotta, I gotta pick a little bone uh, yesterday with uh, what Crypto Face said on the show. Love Crypto Face, phenomenal. Uh, knows what he's talking about on the charts. He, he made a comment yesterday, he said, whales get wrecked. Uh, that's not really true. There are some people who are whales who have been wrecked before. Uh, we've seen it. We've seen leverage traders get liquidated and lose everything at the top. But we're talking about the whales. We're talking about the top 100 addresses in Bitcoin and Ethereum. The top 100 addresses, they never lose because they make the market. So if you're talking about somebody that's got 1,000 Bitcoin, yeah, maybe they can get wrecked, especially if they're trading. If you're talking about someone who has 10,000 Bitcoin or more, they do not get wrecked. And CryptoVase didn't make that distinction, uh, to be fair. Uh, but uh, Around the Blockchain was great yesterday, had a lot of great interaction. Uh, if you w listen to the panel, three out of the four guests believe that Bitcoin does have another run up. And I think we're just seeing that final push down. We said mid July. Well, today's the 20th. This could be the bottom. This could be the bottom that we see before we head back up starting tomorrow. I, I think by the end of this week, we will be going back in a positive direction. We, we could end up being wrong. Maybe the uh, the London hard fork has pushed things back a little bit on the timeline. I still don't think it's true, but you know, we just gotta see by the end of this week, early next week, what's going on and uh, recalibrate where we're at. Because right now for Bitcoin, do or die July, it's only got two options, do or die. All right, guys, don't forget to come back today for Around the Blockchain at uh, five o'clock. I will be on Around the Blockchain this afternoon. We've got DaVinci on, a few other great guests. Had some great guests yesterday. Really enjoyed Dan from Crypto Capital Venture on yesterday. He did a great job. And, uh, you know, Crypto Face as well, uh, along with, uh, you know, our other guest yesterday, which at the current time, oh, it's Tom Crown. Love Tom Crown. Tom Crown did a great job yesterday too. So make sure you check out everybody's channel as it comes on around the blockchain. I'll be back today at five live. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good boy out.